This is the lesson about Jesus's last Passover. Um, let's start this by lighting a candle because the candle reminds us to quiet our minds and quiet our bodies and prepare to hear the story. And let's say a prayer together. Loving God, although we are away from each other, help us to feel connected to each other and to you as we share this story. Once every year, the people of God would go to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover and to remember how God led them through the water to freedom. Each year, Jesus would celebrate Passover with his family and his friends. This year, Jesus and his disciples were going to go to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. But Although Jesus was ready to go, his disciples didn't want to go. They didn't want him to go. They said, please don't go. People in Jerusalem want to kill you. But Jesus said, we must go. So the disciples followed. Two of the disciples went ahead to find a space, an upper room, and to prepare a meal. And when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went to the upper room to share the Passover meal. And then Jesus said the words of the feast in a way they had never heard before. Jesus took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this is the bread of life given for you. Take it and eat the bread of life given for you. The bread of life given for you. The bread of life given for you. The bread of life given for you, the bread of life, given for you, the bread of life, given for you. And then Jesus took the cup and he blessed it and he said, this is the cup of the new covenant given for you. The cup of the new covenant given for you, the cup of the new covenant given for you, the cup of the new covenant given for you. The cup of the new covenant given for you. The cup of the new covenant given for you. The cup of the new covenant given for you. After they ate, they sang a prayer together, and then they went out in the garden to pray.
and that is when it happened. People who hated Jesus came and they took him and they wouldn't let him go. They nailed him to a cross. Later, Jesus died and it was very, very sad. But three days later, God did something amazing. God made Jesus alive again. So every time we eat this bread or we drink from this cup, we are reminded that Jesus is still with us. I wonder how it felt to be around the table and to hear the words that Jesus said. I wonder how it felt to the people and to the disciples when Jesus died. I wonder how they all felt when they heard that Jesus was alive again. I wonder if it was hard to believe that Jesus was alive. I wonder if you've ever been close to a table like this. I wonder if you were in this story, where you would be. And I wonder if there's any part of this story that we could leave out and still have all the story that we need. I wonder if you at home now could think of a way to respond to this story. Maybe you could act it out with your toys or maybe you could draw a picture or maybe you could use Legos or something else to build with to build a part of this story. I wonder if you'll be able to do that. I hope you will take the time. Let's close with a prayer. Loving God, thank you for letting us share this teaching together. Help us to remember that no matter where we are, you are there with us. Amen. And now I will extingu extinguish the candle and let the light spread through the whole room.